Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will understand how to set up Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager can be installed on a blog or a website. In this particular video, we will look at how to set up Google Tag Manager on a blog created with blogger.com. Please make a note that the same steps can be done for installing Google Tag Manager on your website as well. To get started, you will need a Google account. First, we will create an account on blogger.com. Then we will create profiles on Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. Finally, through Google Tag Manager, we will get a code which we will put on our blog. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to have a look at blogger.com. We will understand how to create a blog using blogger.com. Blogger is a free blog service provided by Google. To use Blogger, all you need is a Google account. Enter blogger.com in your browser URL bar. Once the website loads, you will be able to see sign in button at the top right corner. Click on this button. It will ask you for your Google credentials. Enter your credentials. Once you have entered your credentials, Blogger dashboard will be shown. If you have your blogs, they will be displayed in this space. Now let us create our blog. Click on create new blog. It will ask you for a title, address and the required theme for your blog. For the purpose of this tutorial, let us use this Google Tag Manager blog as the address of the blog. As you go on typing, it will show the suggestions. Click on the suggestion. It will check for the availability of the blog address. Once it shows this check mark, click on create blog. Before you should check the theme that you want to have for your blog. Let us go with the default one Contempo. Once the blog is created, Google will ask you for any domain for it. You can click no thanks for now. Now you can create a new post using the control available here. Feel free to explore other areas of blogger. Google Tag Manager is also another service provided by Google. All you need is a Google account. For exact URL of Google Tag Manager, enter Google Tag Manager in Google search bar. Once you go for the search result, the first URL will be displayed as Web and Mobile Tag Management Solutions, Google Tag Manager. Please click on this link. Once the website loads, you will be able to see Start for Free button. Assuming that you are using Google Tag Manager for the first time, click on Start for Free. This will ask you for your Google account credentials. Once you have provided your credentials, Google Tag Manager interface will start showing up. It will ask you to create an account first. When you click on create account, it will ask the details of the account. For example, the name, the country, and whether it is allowed to share data with Google and others. Let us fill up the first form. It is as per user's discretion to check this box. We will click on continue now. Next, it will ask you for the name of the container. Container is just the set of macros and objects that will help you track information related to your blog or website. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will enter a test container name. Now it will ask you where you are going to use the container. Options are web, iOS, Android and accelerated mobile pages. We will click web. Now click on create. After clicking on create, it will show Google Tag Manager terms of service agreement. After going through these agreements, click yes.
that's it. You are ready to use Google Tag Manager. It will show up this pop-up where a code required to be pasted on every page of your website is shown. Click OK. Now we will see how to create an account with Google Analytics. Google Analytics is also provided by Google. Google Analytics helps you to fetch important data from your website or blog. Google Analytics can be clubbed with Google Tag Manager to maximize the benefits. To get started, enter Google Analytics in the search bar. After the search results are shown, click on first link for Google Analytics. The next screen will ask you for your Google account credentials. Enter your credentials. Once logged in, it will show up Google Analytics interface. It will ask you to sign up for Google Analytics. Click on sign up. Next part is important. You need to provide your account name, website name, URL and the reporting time zone. Please fill in this form. As you can see, we have provided website name as the blog name and the URL for the blog that we created in the previous step. It is important to specify the category of your website. I will select computers and electronics. Select the relevant time zone. According to user's own preference, user will select the different checkboxes. Now click get tracking ID. The next screen will show up for accepting terms of service agreement by Google. After you have read all the terms and agreement, click on I accept. After the success message, you will be shown with settings for Google Analytics. Now we will add our Google Tag Manager code into our blog. To do that, log in with your Google account to your Google Tag Manager account. Also, we have our blog ready and we are logged in to blogger.com with our Google account. In Google Tag Manager interface, you will be able to see this code starting with GTM prefix. Click on this code. A dialog box will open which will tell you the instructions to add Google Tag Manager code. As directed, you need to paste this part of code as high as possible in the head tag of the page. And similarly, you have to enter this code after opening body tag. Let us go back to Blogger. To the panel on the left, click on Theme. Then click on Edit HTML. This is the HTML code for your blog. Now locate the head tag. It is very simple to locate head tag. You have to press Ctrl F. This will activate the search bar and then type in head with the angular brackets. Once you have entered head with angular brackets, press enter. It will highlight the head tag. Now copy the code from Google Tag Manager, which needs to be pasted under the head tag. Come back to blogger interface and then paste the code under the head tag. The Google Tag Manager code is now available here. Similarly, let us repeat the process for the body tag. We will search for body tag here. Once you have located the body tag, create some space for the code to be pasted here. Go back to Google Tag Manager interface and copy the code required under body tag. Come back to blogger interface and paste. Once you are pasted, 
you need to save the changes. To save the changes, click on the button Save Theme. After clicking Save Theme, you may come across this error. The error says there is an error parsing XML. It is normal to see this error. To address this issue, in the Google Tag Manager code under the head tag, locate the line with j equals to d dot create element. We will repeat the same process. We will go to the search bar and we will enter j equal to d dot create element. The search will highlight in yellow the required part of the code. In this line, we will have to replace this ampersand L with ampersand AMP. As shown, ampersand L is replaced with ampersand AMP. Now, save the theme. It is important to have a semicolon with AMP. Try saving the theme again. You will see that the changes are now saved and error has disappeared. You have successfully added Google Tag Manager code to your blog. Now we will get acquainted with Google Tag Manager interface. First, let us understand how to manage different workspaces and the administration. You can see three tabs here, Workspace, Versions, Admin. Workspace section shows active work in progress. It has different subsections, Overview, Tags, Triggers, Variables and Folders. In the subsequent videos, we will understand these subsections in detail and we will make use of it. Next versions. It is very common to have few tags and then keep them for review or approval process. At the same time, one might need an understanding of previous tags published on the website. For all these purposes, we can use this versions section. This shows every possible tag published in the current workspace and roll back the changes if required. Now, let us look at Admin tab. If you wish to configure your Google Tag Manager account for different environments or different users, you can use this section. You can also configure the account details and review the activities related to the account if there are multiple users associated with this account. This was all about Google Tag Manager interface. Thank you for watching this video.